Good day everyone! Welcome to another learning episode. At your service, it's Teacher Marlene and the focus of our discussion is about Simplifying Radicals by Rationalizing the Denominator. In my previous video lesson, I discussed that radicals are in the simplest form if the following properties are observed. 1. If the radicand does not contain a perfect square, cube, or any given m root. Another, there is no radical in the denominator or no fraction in the radical sign. And lastly, the index of the radical is the lowest possible index. And among this, our main focus of discussion is to put the denominator outside the radical sign by rationalizing it. Come on, let us start. Try to follow the process of writing radicals in simplest form through the following examples. Let us see example number 1. Our given is the square root of 5 over 9. Observe that the fraction 5 ninths is under the radical sign. So first, let us separate the numerator and the denominator. It is now square root of 5 over the square root of 9. Observe that the denominator is a perfect square. So getting the square root of 9, which is 3, we will get square root of 5 over 3. And this is the simplest form because the denominator is not under the radical sign. Now let us look at example number 2. Our given is cube root of 3 eighths. Again, same process. Let us separate the numerator and denominator. So cube root of 3 over cube root of 8 where we can rewrite cube root of 8 into cube root of 2 cubed so that we can easily determine if the exponent is divisible by the index. So getting the cube root of 2 cubed is equal to 2. Therefore, cube root of 3 over 2 is the simplest form. Let us simplify the next example. Example number 3 given is the square root of A over B. Again, separate the numerator and denominator. We will arrive at square root of A over square root of B. Since our given is not a perfect square, this time, let us apply the process of rationalizing denominator. This process is multiplying the given fraction to a fraction equivalent to 1 where we can eliminate the radical in the denominator. Since our focus is the denominator, look at square root of b. So we have to make this a perfect square by multiplying it to square root of b over square root of b. Make sure both the numerator and denominator is the same because it's equivalent to 1. So multiplying numerators, square root of a times square root of b equals the square root of ab. And the denominators, the square root of b times the square root of b equals the square root of b squared. Then simplifying the square root of b squared, we have the square root of AB over B. And this is the simplest form. Let us see how to simplify the next example. For example number 4, our given is the square root of 2x raised to 4 y cubed over 3z cubed. For easy references, let us separate the numerator and the denominator. So our denominator is the square root of 3z cubed. And to make it a perfect square, let us multiply this to the square root of 3z 
over the square root of 3z. Then, the square root of 2x raised to 4 y cubed times the square root of 3z is the square root of 6x raised to 4 y cubed z. And the denominator, the square root of 3z cubed times the square root of 3z is the square root of 3 squared z raised to 4. To simplify, let us separate the numerator to perfect and not perfect. 6 is not a perfect square. It must be written in the right radical. x raised to 4 is a perfect square, so it must be on the left radical. y cubed is separated into y squared to be written in the perfect square and the remaining y on the right radical. The same with z, which is not a perfect square. Then the denominator, the square root of 3 squared z raised to 4 is simplified to 3z squared. So getting the square root of x raised to 4 y squared, which is x squared y, then x squared y times the square root of 6yz over 3z squared is the simplest form. Let me discuss more. Look at example number 5. The given is the cube root of 64ax over 16a squared x squared. Before we separate the numerator and denominator, observe the similarity in the variables. If this happens, try to simplify by applying log exponent for quotient. Let us simplify them one by one. 64 divided by 16 is 4. A divided by A squared is A raised to negative 1 or 1 over A. Then x divided by x squared is x raised to negative 1 or 1 over x. So we can rewrite this into the cube root of 4 over ax. Now let us separate the fraction. We have the cube root of 4 over the cube root of ax. Now looking at the denominator, to make this a perfect cube, we have to multiply this to the cube root of a squared x squared over the cube root of a squared x squared. Then, let us multiply the numerators. So, the cube root of 4 times the cube root of a squared x squared is the cube root of 4a squared x squared. And the denominators, the cube root of ax times the cube root of a squared x squared is the cube root of a cubed x cubed. Then when simplified is ax. Therefore, the cube root of 4a squared x squared over ax is the simplest form. Now let us see our last example. Our example number 6 given is 2a over x times the cube root of 5x raised to 5 over 4a. Now, let us separate the numerator and denominator. And let us write 4 in exponential form, which is 2 squared. Now, looking at the radical denominator, which is cube root of 2 squared a, we need to make it a perfect cube. So, to rationalize, let us multiply it to the cube root of 2a squared over the cube root of 2a squared. Now, multiplying the numerators, 2a times the cube root of 5x raised to 5 times the cube root of 2a squared is 2a times the cube root of 10a squared x raised to 5. And then the denominators, x times the cube root of 2 squared a times the cube root of 2a squared will give us x times the cube root of 2 cubed a cubed. Let us separate the numerator. 
into perfect and not perfect cube on the variable x. So 2a times the cube root of x cubed times the cube root of 10a squared x squared and simplify the denominator 2 cube a cube under the cube root sign which is now 2a. Now we can cancel 2a then the cube root of x cubed is x where we can cancel it with x in the denominator. So that the result will be cube root of 10a squared x squared. This is our simplest form. It's the end of my lecture for this video. Do not hesitate to ask questions or give your comments for this video lesson. And before I end, let me share this lesson's quote. The ability to simplify means to eliminate the unnecessary so that the necessary may speak. This is famous by Hans Hoffman. Thank you for watching. Happy learning!